What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with AB Investments. I miss you guys so much, and I hope you guys feel the same way as well, and this feeling is mutual. It's been, what, over two weeks. Uh, first off, m much, much love, and may the Lord have accepted all, uh, and this goes out to all my Muslim brothers and sisters, uh, may, have, may the Lord have accepted all your uh, prayers, all your fasting, and hopefully you've enjoyed your Eid as well of uh, of celebration. And now that we're back, I was out in Hocken Hills uh, celebrating with the family. And guys, it is so beautiful. Uh, I might add some shorts, you know, just videos and stuff on the short channels just so you can see the trails. Uh, it also happens to be where they shot the movie Wrong Turn. Uh, but gladly, I'm back, so I did not take the wrong turn. With that being said, again, I've missed you guys so much. And wow, being away for this just this much. And I was in the background. I was seeing some things. I was, you know, keeping up with some things, talking to some people, contributing in a small way in the background, keeping tabs on everything. Uh, and if you guys could remember the last, the very last thing I've told you before I've went off the grid and I went to, you know, take care of my prayers and uh, deal with my situation. I've told you that I've given you a timeline from that day all the way till May 3rd. And I told you, if anybody wants to fact check, that more banks will crash. And now what are you seeing with First Republic Bank? Um, and and. The way the reason why I was able to see that is not that because I had a crystal ball or any of that. No, the reason why it's I could like give you a simple explanation every time the feds, and by the way, this all ties into our AMC play. By the way, it's not that I'm just talking about it so we can talk about macroeconomic situations or big things that are happening besides AMC. No, this has every little thing to do with AMC, and you'll see because banks are also. Some of the parties, maybe not necessarily First Republic, but the entities, the bigger banks, the JP Morgans, the City Groups, the the, City, uh, the 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 Morgan Stanleys, those, they're in that. So to keep close tabs on that, you can almost uh, kind of hyper, or or the better word for lack of better terms, uh, you can actually predict a little better when things could take take a take a run for it. Uh, because when you keep keep like keep following the tabs on, on 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 these situations as they develop, and it's important while you're looking here, there's another fire developing elsewhere, which is within our AMC play. However, how were we able to predict what was going to happen with First Republic a week and a half in advance, two weeks in advance? Well, if you saw ever since the Federal Reserve kept hiking rates, and I've explained this in a previous video, but this is a prime example of how it happened and how we were able to predict it before it happens. And again, you guys could go back to the previous video where I mentioned that, hey, the time, the window between after the inflation data coming out, remember that time, and all the way until May 3rd, until the feds meet for the FOMC meeting, and that's when you'll see more things be, become more interesting because why more interesting because they've had a coalition of the feds helping each other out helping all these other banks the bigger banks all the way until the end of april beginning of may now i wonder how beautiful this situation that happened with our case and amc and the judge reason why i was always saying thank god for the lawsuit and the fact that we even got to this point, whether Allegheny is on our side or not. We all pretty much know that they're not by now. But again, they did us a huge, huge, huge favor because just by the fact that we're in Delaware court now, things are taking a bigger turn for the much, 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 much better and the much anticipated. And most importantly, time. How many times in the past have you guys have heard me say companies have money? The institutes, the other side, they have money. They have access to money. But the one thing they don't have is time. When they see a losing or a failing project finally closing its door, the one thing they will do last is they will not, and this is this is good news. This is good news, my, my, uh, my family, dear family members. The one thing they will not do is they will not let this go through uh, or the case to go through if they see it not happening in their favor. 
They will not let it finish through. They will give the people, and this is my humble opinion, it's not financial advice, but it's just my humble opinion. They will give the family, they will give the people their much coveted and much awaited for Moas uh, and the play, or at least do it fundamentally. Because again, fundamental of a company earnings is different than fundamentals of its trading of its shares two different things and some of the fundamentalists like to mix this the two together and then obviously take you on a little whim and get you com completely f confused that f the word fundamental means just what the company is earning how, what's the debt blah 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 and all that shit now i've always said you can't have fundamentals in an unfundamental world because the world that you're in, which is in the trading of the stock, it's not fundamental and it's affecting the stock. That's why the company can't raise in the past capital for obviously a, uh, the right the right amount of money. So, and specifically speaking about Ape, Ape shouldn't be where it's at. It Fundamentally, it should not be where it's at. Unless it was unfundamentally played with throughout the, uh, you know, the stock market. You know how with all the players and the forces, the hidden forces that are against us, the unknown forces that wants to do us harm. Um, and you guys by now know exactly as always, as I've always said, what me and my fellow other uh, content creators who stand up against the, uh, you know, the corruption of not only Wall Street, but it looks more like Inside Street. You know who I mean by that. Um, at the end of the day, all that matters to me is the family and and that's what we that's what I came in it for and the family and the people that are in my same lane why would I worry about somebody who or even support somebody who's not even in our situation who in fact doesn't even care he's not in the same fire pit as we are so to me that's all I care about now I'm, I, I will make some more videos. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to cover. There's a lot to get back into. Again, much love to all of you guys. But just touching again before I end this video on the last topic, which was the banks. How were we able to see well, when the feds kept raising rates, people, when they saw what happened with SVP, SVB and uh, the uh, Silicon uh, Bank, like when they saw that happening, People started withdrawing money from smaller banks and they started taking them where? To the bigger banks, like to the JP Morgans, to the Morgan Stanleys, the Wells Fargo's and Citigroup. Why? Because these have, they have the, 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 the support of the Fed. The, the Fed is supporting them with money straight up and they're all, you know, full, filled out on, on, on cash. Now the problem, that doesn't mean that they're happy. They're happier because they're taking competition out of the way the smaller banks are going out of business now you got people like ubs you got people like jp morgan coming in and taking these smaller banks uh b well it's the 40th biggest bank as far as first republic san, Fr san francisco but again it's still small compared to the magnitude of jp morgan of somebody of that like so when they uh when they get access to having somebody drop that bad because people are afraid. They're taking their money out and like, hmm, I don't want to be on the hinges of what happened with the other banks or be at least screwed on my deposits. So therefore, where will I put my money? I'm going to put it in the place that is too big to fail, at least for now. Um, so who are the places that are too big to fail? Those bigger banks. So people are taking money from here and putting it there. That works to the best interest of these bigger banks because that's money that they take and they get to go ahead and play with. Again, no money goes to sleep. So they like that. In the midst of this crisis, while the banks are under leverage, even the bigger or the smaller, but it's the smaller banks that takes the biggest strain and the biggest blow because when a boat sinks... It sinks from the bottom. It doesn't sink literally from the top. So the hole is caused from the bottom. And that's where all these smaller banks are. They crack one after another. And next thing you know, uh, the for the meantime, the bigger banks are enjoying this. Uh, perhaps they're even going to be fall, like maybe in love with it if they know some BS is in the, in the works. Like if they're planning their long-term plan... Uh, these people that we're against, family, they, they they have all these things already figured out. They don't call in the last minute uh, and stuff like that. So, like, they already know that. And I've told you before, 
the way that this eventually will shape up to be, and everything is moving in that direction, but I said this over a year ago, that this will result, and the only way this will result is in, in a way where for the entire economy, where somebody will get completely depleted, the banks, even the bigger banks, will put the feds and the entire country uh, in front of the, uh, in, in, in the front lines and say, hey, look, this is the truth of the matter. We are over leveraged with all this. We did all this. Yeah, we did a lot of bad investments, a lot of bad collateral, blah, 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 all this stuff. Oh, well, that's in the past. We're here today. Forget yesterday. And as, as, as bogus as that is, that's exactly what happened in 2008. So the country or the POTUS in that situation has a decision to make. Do you bail out the banks and keep the economy going? Or do you send the country into a world war, uh, in, into a, uh, a third and, and, and changing it, transforming it into a third world country instantly because there's no money at all. So if 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 there is anything that that the the country or the government has in the back of its if it's not playing the bad guy or supporting him maybe it's trying to um create the the digital blockchain and get it going so that it could typically or in other words replace those banks when it's time for it to come around but if that's not the case then the only way is the old traditional way which is uh, bail out the banks and basically in turn say that hey we had to do it we just had we couldn't shut down the lights on the entire nation so with that being said please put down your comments or your questions in the comment section i miss you guys a whole lot uh i got a lot to go over uh help me since i've been back now i don't like you know i feel like i've been away for years but help me by sending what you want me to go ahead and respond to because there's so much and it helps to make actually videos where I'm in particular addressing something in particular. Um, with that being said, stay tuned because we're going to also talk about completely and break down the process of all these letters that are happening with AMC. I don't want everybody to just get too anxious on the stuff because it's so many things that are going to keep changing almost every day for instructions. So I'm going to wait to give you the entire buttercup. Uh, when it's when it's completely fully served and I see it and I see the whole scoop. There are some areas where some foul play can happen and I'm keeping them in, in the back right now until everything is finalized and the instructions are completely given. Then I will tell you exactly what we need to watch out for be, if in case it plays in that direction, if I feel like it's playing in that direction. With that being said, much love. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you back on the next video.